James Wiseman was the top ranked recruit in the 2020 NBA draft class for the majority of the year on most sites. But after leaving the University of Memphis after three games due to eligibility issues, Wiseman has slipped down many draft boards and is not projected to be the perennial first overall pick like he was just eight months ago. Many NBA fans are looking at him to carry the torch of great big men in the NBA with his insane size, defensive capabilities, and shooting. But I don't think he's as good as many people see him. What's going on everybody, it's Jelly J NBA back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining why I believe James Wiseman is going to disappoint a lot of people who expect him to be the next great NBA big man, following in the footsteps of Joel Embiid, Carl Anthony Towns, and Nikola Jokic. But before we get into today's video, I want to thank you guys for your continued support on this channel. It means the world to me. And if you are new here and enjoy NBA content, consider subscribing. I upload every single day. At 7'1", with a 7'6 wingspan and skillful coordination for a big man, Wiseman supporters dream about his ceiling as a scorer. Occasionally, he flashes a potent face-up game and long-range shooting, but what curbs those flashes is actual production and questionable decision-making. Wiseman has the confidence of an outlier shot-maker, but lacks the shooting talent to warrant it. That mindset generates clips like this. He aspires to be a modern big, with ball handling, pull-up shooting, and floor spacing talents. He plays like one, but it hasn't been kind to his efficiency and exhibits discouraging self-awareness for a guy slated to go top 5 in the draft. There has to be some understanding of your own offensive strengths, and Wiseman's habits don't suggest he knows who he truly is. In 21 EYBL games between April 2018 and July 2018, Wiseman averaged 15.2 points on 52.7% true shooting percentage. Such low efficiency and raw scoring output is concerning for a player wielding NBA caliber size and length. Take a look at how his efficiency compares to some other bigs. Shooting projection is a significant and worthwhile exercise for prospects. It's fair to look at Wiseman's indicators and wonder if he simply has too much confidence as a shooter. But across that same string of EYBL games, he went 56 of 101, which is 55.4% from the free throw line, and 4 of 27, which is 14.8% from three point range. Neither number suggests a forecoming evolution of his shot. It is far too early to completely rule Wiseman out as a shooter though. He is still just 19 years old and he may undergo technical altercations to rectify his poor results in his shot during his first couple NBA seasons. But as a prospect, he projects as an underwhelming shooter who is devoted to firing away. Much of his hype comes from his inside out game, but only his interior scoring is currently translatable to the NBA. Even then, far too often, he settles for fadeaways or turns simple post touches into complex face-up possessions. His desire for functioning like a perimeter player negates his size advantage where he weighs 270 pounds at 7'1", very similar to Joel Embiid. If he plans on operating as he has at lower levels, he will not become a viable offensive weapon in the NBA. His decision making and shooting will bring too many problems along with it. It's not as though Wiseman is a gifted passer exclusively aiming to refine his scoring prowess either. While he's capable of some interior feeds or hitting cutters from the low block, he's largely a dreadful facilitator and amassed 14 assists to 44 turnovers during the 2018 EYBL circuit. If the shot selection wasn't convincing enough as a red flag about his offensive upside, that ratio should be. Wiseman has also shown at times to operate in this almost tunnel vision-like approach on offense. In this clip, he has the size advantage against his defender, but settles for a contested hook shot over a wide open corner three for his teammate. Either Wiseman didn't see his teammate in the corner or considers his shot to be better. Neither is ideal and reinforces his suspect standing offensively. Now one statistic from Wiseman's small sample size in just 21 games in the EYBL is having 39 blocks in those 21 games implying a reputation as a solid rim protector. To many, that's exactly who the 19-year-old is on paper, a future defensive anchor and perennial all-defensive member. 
but there is still some question marks here. Wiseman certainly accumulates a good number of blocks, though it seems to originate from the poor discipline and features an inability to stay vertical on contest. He'll pounce on subtle shot fakes or unnecessarily pursue blocks, sometimes to the detriment of his team. Watch in these clips here how James Wiseman almost chases blocks, which then leads to offensive putbacks for the other team after he is out of the picture. With all of this being said, I believe James Wiseman can still become a serviceable rim protector in the NBA, but he still has some holes in his game that can be fixed with time and experience. Although this draft is considered somewhat weak, the star players at the top possess certain outlier skills that few others can replicate. LaMelo Ball's playmaking and Anthony Edwards scoring is what separates them from the rest of the pack. But Wiseman doesn't have a single skill that he does at an elite level that would separate him from the other players at his position. And that is a red flag for someone who's in contention to be the number one overall pick depending on which team gets it. Now don't get me wrong, James Wiseman still has the physical tools to become one of the best players from this draft because of his unique fluidity at his size. But his game still needs some holes filled. I know I used a very small sample size to bash Wiseman, but hopefully he sees this video and dedicates his time to work on those holes that many scouts see, so that he can become the next great NBA big. And that's the video guys, if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as well as let me know what you guys think about James Wiseman in the comment section down below. Do you think he deserves to be the number one overall pick? And I hope to see you guys in the next one.